And we're back. Sorry about the three day delay, but well, I'd like to say my voice went even worse, but it didn't. I just didn't have time because I had to attend my brother's graduation. And well, to be honest, that's pretty much it. I don't have any excuses at all. What's in the tavern? Quest unlocked. Bonus bravery. Slime pit. What? Long ago, the southern goblins were chased out of their ancestral excavation site. Rumors of a unique artifact being unearthed nearby have inspired them to take it back. Defeat the slime pit with the crusader, tinker, and transmuter. This only counts if you use goblins. Okay, so that unlocked because I got crusader, not because I beat this. I didn't beat it. Uh, quest unlocked. Bonus bravery oasis. Um... Okay, so I gotta beat it with Crusader, Tinker, and Transmuter. Okay. Well, I might as well read this again. Uh, the Kingdom's Dwarves are intrigued by, about the excavation potential of the blasted landscape known only as the Cursed Oasis. They've managed to rope in the assistance of the newer, unconventional heroic orders. Defeat Cursed Oasis, blah, 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 blah. It only counts a few dwarves. Okay. And, of course, the PQI is here again. Well, it does ask for me to be a half-dragon. Anyway, Lacat and, uh... Eric have, you know, dared me to try beating it with Monk. Actually, they, they halfway t uh, threatened, with, er, not threatened, but halfway challenged me on that, saying, no, 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 that's, that's impossible, because Monk, Monk completely relies on not being cursed, and to be in the cursed plane, yes, I now understand how that dungeon works, you have to be cursed, and it's just not easy, so, yeah, and all the things down there are physical resist, too. So, what are we doing today? I mean, I guess I could learn how transmuter and stuff works. Uh, you know, let's try being goblin tinkers. Just, just so I can kind of get a feel for this. And, you know, it'll be a dungeon that we've already played. Maybe I'll go for the PQI, maybe I won't. But, you know, I think I could have beat it with Half-Dragon if I just knew a bit about dark, or a bit about the dungeon. I knew a bit about how knockback works. So, yeah, we'll be dwarf tinkers. Um, I kind of forgot what would be good with Tinkers. I, I, I just don't even know. So we'll just go with what seems relatively safe. And, um, yes. As for the uh, Monk Challenge, oh, let's put on Boss. Yeah. I guess Black Market makes the most sense, sure. And I've already kind of formulated kind of a build that would work for Monk. I, I'm not sure what I would take from here, but I do know that I'd want the bear mace, I think, just to knock things back. I don't know. It, it, I, I gave it some thought, but you'll have to see it some other time. Um, let's go with the two good potions. I mean, whoop ass is good, too. Yeah, I'll take that, too. So, reflex. Yeah, I, I want reflex more. And that will do it. I don't really feel like summoning down another altar or anything even though that would be great um i don't feel like it how does that sound for excuses oh wow i already have compression seals oh and transmutation and he has translocation seals haha <laughs> that's awesome um okay well let's uh let's summon a shop right here pen of health Stone of Piety. Okay, so Pit of Health should be a bit cheaper. I mean, it only costs five gold less. Okay, so that's good. That's good. You know, I'm thinking about buying it. Okay, why didn't it buy? Why you no buy? Hmm? Um, there we go. Okay. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. I'd like to think it was. But... Okay, so I can sense dungeon stairs, and those two are them. Good. Now I just gotta remember that as soon as I get cursed, which is highly likely, the war garble, you know I'd love that, but you know I'm really torn on what to get, or what to do, or what to eat. Anyway, when I get cursed, I get sent to the cursed plane, which kinda sucks if I rely on curse at all. Thankfully, these guys don't curse at all, but you know, I, I didn't know that. I'm thinking about compressing my thing, but I'll wait until later. I, I don't need space right now. It's not absolutely necessary. Okay, so yes, I'm being attacked by a ghost in the other plane, which I can't even see yet. But at least they won't get to, you know, drink my blood when I get there, as long as they're still uncovered. 
Now this is going to be annoying because this guy will curse me. And that's bad because, uh, because reasons. As soon as I hit him, I'll be sent to the other plane. I might even be trapped in here because I think the ghost is right here. And the walls will still be there. So let's be careful about this. And let's just try and explore a bit. Don't want to get mana burned. I really would like to not get mana burned. Can I find a spell that will help me here? Badge of Honor might help. Tarog, huh? Hmm. Well, actually, Tarog might be like just the right guy for a tinker because he has all these compression seals. Well, not all of these compression seals. He has quite a few. The only problem is that there's only one item from Tarog that still works when you're cursed. And that is the sword. Um, otherwise, he's going to love it when I kill all these magic attacking guys. Or most of them. Anyway, um, if I can just, just get something that will help me kill that first guy. Just a bit more damage. Um, I'll think about Tarog in a minute. I might as well pick up the piety. Man, I could really use some uh, glyph radar about now. Well, that, that counts. That certainly counts. And in fact, I can now move, you know, bandits out of the way. And, you know, he'll be popcorn. I don't really want to kill level ones anyway, so maybe that's what I'll do for now. Is just uh, make popcorn. Delicious, yummy, tasty popcorn. Um, I couldn't kill this guy. If I, uh, if I could. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, I found the boss. Uh, okay, so, Hobo Ricks, you traitor, you may have sold my soul to them, but I'll kill you regardless. Sincerely, your former friend. So, Hobo Ricks must be somebody else. I thought he was talking to my half-dragon or something, but, eh. That would've been cool. Uh, who are you? Ben Lore. Well, I am a dwarf. Uh, but here's the thing about Ben Lore. He's simultaneously really good for this dungeon. Yes, I thought about this when it came to Monk. He's simultaneously really good for this dungeon and really, you know, useless at this dungeon. He gives you magic resist, guys. But here's the problem. Um, you, you, you can't use that magic resist while you're cursed. That's, that's what I mean to say. And the other problem with it is that, uh, well, I mean, what's good about him is the stone heart. You want to use this as much as you can on that, you know, annoying final boss to lower all his uh, resistances. I know, I, I won't really, well, okay, not the dragon, but the uh, the, the ghost. He's got like 60% physical resist and magic resist. So this would actually really help. However, I, I really can't see myself going with Ben Lord this early. You lose 10 piety every time you level up, and it's just terrible. It, it won't work for me. Anyway. Um. Oh my gosh. You know. You all saw it coming. You all know it's here. I. I could one shot him and level up. Uh. Let's grab everything. As dumb as that sounds. And let's take a trip down memory lane. See, now we're in the cursed plane. I will not allow you to remove my anchor in this plane. Remain here forever. And that's not Hoborix either, so. Haha! -ha, I saw you as level 1, so you only got to take 12 HP. In your face. In your face. In your face. So yeah, see all those resistances he has? That's pretty bad. It's pretty awful. And as soon as I kill somebody and take the curse off... Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna mad burn me. Uh, give me a second. Let me spin my mana somewhere. Well, actually, no. He's got poison too. So let's let's save him for like a tasty later. Oh, and the tar rock thing is gone too. Okay, okay. Uh, other than that, oh right, and he and all his kind blink around. That's that's the part that annoys me the most. Oh, and they don't have magic attack either, so I'm not gonna get tons of piety out of them. However, all things considered, I guess I'll kill this guy. Um, I really might as well use, uh, wait, what? Or, I'm a wall. No, I'm a wall is not going to help that much. So we'll do that. I think all the enemies travel with me into the Cursed Plane. I don't know. Let, let's find out. 
Maybe the slow ones don't. But that dragon did. You know, it, it's it's confusing me too. So let's let's keep going. If I could take on a level four, it'd be level better than taking on this level three. But as it is, it's kind of ironic. I'll get more exp from this level three if I kill him when I get to level three. So let's let's just leave it at that. Um, when I kill this guy, I will be uncursed. And I think I think I'll just sack up and try to take on the uh, or try to take on Tarog and start earning some piety with him. Okay. Does that sound too hard for little baby captain? Well, let's stop insulting ourselves. And, oh, okay. Another thing about this place that I forgot about. Whenever you level up, you get cursed. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Well, maybe, maybe. Uh, I really might as well kill a dragon spawn just to get the most EXP out of this as I can. And since I'm going with Tarog soon, I might as well get the most out of my weight wet while I can. So there we go. Uncursed. Uncursed planeted. And there's a lot of shops here, but that should be no surprise. Because... Talent. Uh, because, um... I'm I'm a merchant. Two more shops? Yeah, that thing. Alright, Tarog, let's make a deal. Plus ten for violence. Very well done, my disciple. Oh, well, thank you so much, Tarog. You know, it wasn't easy, but... I would like to... Okay, let's stop thinking about that. We have Indus Wall and a sub-dungeon. Crap. Okay, now I'm going to have to shrink some things. Shrinky dinks. I think I'll hold on to Imble Wall. And here's a really good reason why. If I can't kill the ghosts downstairs and I really need to get uncursed, I can still turn them into stone and get uncursed. I learned that in my uh, wizard run of... Uh, that that dragon dungeon, the dragon isles, yes. So, what are we for sure keeping until the end of time? Um, I think we're gonna plus ten health. I don't know if that does it. The wait, what? I don't know if that does it. The ammo, like I said, I don't know. We'll just save this sub dungeon for later, okay? Anyway, we're gonna get cursed again if we fight him. Let's not fight him just yet. Not just yet, not just yet. Let's discover a bit more in the safe area. And oh, there's a bunch of level fours, guys. Wait, these statues weren't here earlier. Do the statues not come with me to the Cursed Plane? Or no, he was covered up by darkness, that's why. Okay, okay. Um I'm really not sure what I want to do here. I think that's Jehora. Hmm. Hi, sub dungeon. Hey, ghost. Uh, who are you? Oh yeah, this guy. Um, I forgot what he does. Welcome to Wizard.exe. Proudly brought to you by Wizard.exe. Scan for compatible glyphs. Sure, we're early on in, in this glyph found. I'm a wall. Process this glyph. Uh, Captain, you idiot. What do you give me? Learning! Plus one extra EXP per kill. I should regret that. But you know what, folks? I don't regret that. I don't regret that one bit. What? Oh, glyph use. Okay, for a minute there, I thought it was a bit more. I was like, what? Don't you love that? Don't you... I'm frightened of this. A sword... I can guess what the other two things are. We'll come back for those. I mean, they sound awesome and everything. And in fact, this won't be here when I come back. So let's grab this. The Perseverance badge is just the best thing out of these things. Everything else takes up a whole slot. Not the Perseverance badge. So, you know, we'll come back for those if we really need them. Anyway. I think it is safe to say that we're probably going to go to the Cursed Plane again. Yay. Um, and he's going to level me. Maybe I should get some hits in on my next quarry. Well, let's make sure. Let's hit him once. Yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with this. As long as everybody else came to. Um, we'll smack him. And then watch your family attack him. Uh-huh, you hate glyph uses, but you'll love it when I kill this guy. Yeah. Now, 
another thing I was thinking about was that it always makes these plants. I'm not sure exactly what, but I think they cover anything that, like, I don't know, stores? There aren't this many stores, so maybe gold piles too. I don't know. Maybe glyphs. I didn't leave any glyphs behind. I don't know. Maybe the plant just shows up and then I pick up the stuff and, you know, whatever. What I'm trying to get at is I can strategically use these uh, plants to stay cursed and stay in the cursed plane longer if I want to. And I do want to. So let's uh, let's do that. Um, I'm a little lost here. I'm thinking about killing the dragon. I think I can safely wait. Wait, he's only going to get one square. And yes, this is going to pee off Tarog, but you know what? Um, he was a pretty good director. Now then, what? where were we going with this? We're going to try and kill some more level 4s, but remember, don't become uncursed unless you really mean to. Also, these guys will uncurse me too. That, that's that's nice of them. So very kind. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll totally, I'll totally wipe the floor with you. And then... We'll heal up a bit. Enough so that, you know, I can take off another one of his death protections. And taking off their death protections is not enough to take off one of my curses. You know, that's something that if somebody asked me, I wouldn't know what to say. I'd be like, eh, let me go find the cat. I, uh, they, that, that person seems to be the expert on everything desktop dungeons. Uh, I'm gonna wait what you for the EXP. And. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm fine with how everything's going so far. So far, so good. And I leveled up, so I got cursed again. That's okay. It's fine. Um, one thing, though, is that while I'm in the Cursed Plane, I don't have any access to switching my altar or the shops. Just realized that. I don't remember anything particularly good being in the stores. Still. Still. You never know. Okay, so who am I taking on now? A level 5, this guy has physical attacks. I think what I'll do though, is that I'll take off his overhealth. Okay, I just realized something. I should really um, try to kill him in one hit somehow. Is there a way for me to get a bit more attack? If I were human, sure, but I'm not. Up, oh, transmutation scroll. I could turn things into gold, okay. But it does not tell me how much it will give me for stuff. So maybe I'll test it out on my pin of health. You know, just to test it. I don't know. Um, this is really, really risky. But I'm going to smack him again. The odds are somewhat even. It actually looks like a giant yin-yang. <laughs> that he will land over in this bright spot and I won't have to heal him. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Well, all right, all right. At least we took off his overhealth. Maybe now we can two-shot him or something. Uh-huh. That's what I thought you'd do. So I'm just going to take you and put you way up there. That's fine. To all right, he he got to do that. Well, there, I took off overhealth. Let's heal up this time. And let's try this again. All right, Mr. Krabs. Um, oh, never mind. I have somewhat of a phonographic memory, which means that, you know, instead of photographic, you know, where people remember visualization stuff, sometimes when I think of a word, it will instantly bring up a phrase from that word or whatever from some show or whatever I saw. Oh, geez. If I'm going to get any use out of this tall rog, unless I'm just using him for piety, and let's not pretend that can't be a possibility here. I'm going to have to shrink some things down. Now let me think. Would it be best to go with Tarog and get 15% physical, magical, plus 5 attack, plus 5 defense? Huh, just realized that all those things are kind of, you know, uh, mirrors of each other, I guess. Or, actually that's going to cost 95 piety, so that's, that's, a huge, that's a huge investment, Captain. Think it through. Uh, or should I do something else with it? And I'm thinking I might actually go with Jahora? No. Jahora, I don't know. Tinkerer seems well balanced. He's actually more of a, a, a merchant man, really. Merchant man than anything else. Why haven't I found another level 5 yet? 
Why don't I try walking and talking? Let's make popcorn. Uh-huh. It's going to destroy piety. I realize that. It's okay with me. It's okay with me. Oh. Good call, Captain. <laughs> me. I just realized that um, upon killing somebody else, I'm going to level up. And or, upon killing somebody else, I'm going to lose my curse, is what I mean to say. And upon losing my curse, I will be kicked out of the cursed realm because, hey, you're a no good thieving cheater guy. Get out of here. We don't want you in here if you're not cursed. So we're going to put these guys up here. Hopefully I'm not covering up any stores. I kind of doubt it. Kind of doubt it. Um, what's ironic though is that I think the only difference between here and the other places is that I should be able to see the shades. Yeah, you guys are shades. And I'm not... Really? Why the huge difference in... Oh, because he stole from me when I had a lot more health. Um, yeah, the shade... This place should be more EXP worthy, I think. Maybe. Ah, here we go. Okay, I feel better now. Um, uh, I want to fight him out here, though. Make the fight a little more even. Make most of the beads on my end. Um, now, I have to ask myself a question. Do I want to stay here for a little while longer? And I feel like the answer is no. So we're going to kill this guy. Then, you know, really evaluate our options. And then, um, you know, do what we must. Ah, uh, okay. So we're back out here. Hooray for pick-me-ups. Hooray for help, man. I want help, man. I'm I'm thinking about trading out the weight what now, actually. Let's do it. If we're gonna do it, let's do it when we can. And let's pick up Halpma. I think Halpma will help me a lot more in fights. It's actually the dream glyph I would get if I were doing this on Monk. And we're not doing this on Monk just yet. Captain or Eric and Lacat. Or is that pronounced Lacket? I, I looked it up on Google Translate in case it's a foreign word or whatever, and it told me, great, just as I got rid of, wait, what? Hang on. Let me see what he has to say. Uh, I mean, let me see what, uh, hang on, a mouse just died. Okay. Let me see what this guy has to say about these glyphs. Um, help me. No. End this wall. No, I might need to destroy more walls. Okay, well, I know Helpma and Indus Wall work with that guy, and he gives me traits. For Well, I think he gives me traits. Maybe he'll just give me potions when I break down Helpma. I don't want to break down Helpma. I want to keep my Helpma. It helps me. Anyway, enough funny talking. We're looking to kill... As soon as I strike him, um, I'm going to be sent to the Cursed Plane. The Shadow Realm... Let's look at the things real quick. What can't I live without? Oh, uh, boy. That fine sword is looking pretty fine, actually. So, I think, since we know for sure we're going to hang on to help now, let's do that. And now we can buy ourselves a fine sword. Eat it. Uh, don't, don't eat the fine sword, okay? It's dangerous. Even for a dwarf. Okay. Okay, so we're... We're doing good. We're doing fine, I'd like to say. Um, so can I compress a small item into a microscopic item? Come at me with my toothpick balance dagger. Balance toothpick. Um, okay, so we picked up everything that we could see anyway. We're going to go back to the <clears throat> cursed plane as soon as we attack this guy. And my oh my, aren't we going to attack this guy? So we'll do that. And then we'll level up, which will, you know, curse us again. The true. Oh, I probably should have, you know, used some of my extra health on my next level six. Who guess what is this guy? Yeah, yeah. And I kind of missed my weight wet already, but whatever. I have help me, which I will try to use sparingly, as sparingly as sparing sparrows, spar, spartatoes. Um, this thrall will work. I would love to just grab two squares. Thank you. 
And hopefully just barely kill this guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm poisoned, am I? Well, guess what? This hurts every time I do it, folks. Okay. Well, we have popcorn. Let's kill magic attackers first. Of which there's only one, might I add. Actually, there's technically two. And I could kill him, too. Okay, well, we'll do that. Uh. And then we'll kill this one. Boom. And then this will level us. Thank you, learning. You know? Um, Mr. Netherhound, that was actually... That's actually a very good thing. Maybe I should get as much stacks of learning as I can. That's, that's pretty good. It'll make the popcorn so much more potent. Potent popcorn, in other words. Okay, level 7. Oh, I should have checked to see if I would have gotten cursed. Thankfully, I leveled and then got cursed. Not that it really matters all that much. Okay, okay. That's enough fun times. Break it up. Oh, and the any altar that you ascribe to, or whatever the word would be, um, comes into the cursed plane with you. Thankfully. I only saw three altars. Talrog, Benlor, and... Jahora. Yeah, there, there we go. Jahora, you know, just his name confuses me. I think the only thing that'll work against, you know, this ghost guy is going to be this, this here blade, the skull picker. I might just buy it before I leave the cursed plane and switch to Binlore. Or I might not. I'm thinking about going with Binlore and then just, you know, coming back here and then taking this guy's physical and magic resist down to nothing. So that way he becomes a joke. Well, he's not completely a joke, but he's still going to blink around. It's going to be annoying. Believe you me. And the cat tells me that as soon as he's dead, he'll give me an item that will take me out of the cursed plane forever. Or something. So let's look forward to that. I'm so glad this bandit doesn't, you know, mana burn or anything. <sighs> what I wouldn't give for a get in there or something nice. Anyway, uh, I was actually looking to buy that sword. Let's buy it. Let's buy it. Guess what? I can't hold it. And now I can. If I could, I'd really much rather, you know, make this small. But I can't. There's no way around that. So, pick up the items you're going to make small eventually anyway. So, or do I want to Yeah, we're going to make the fine sword. Because we're keeping that. We're keeping that. Don't care who you are, where you're from, just as long as long as you love me. Um, now are you too shoutable? Yes, he is too shoutable. This just became possible. I mean, I guess I could find him with help, Matt, but I'd rather not. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course you know what I mean. Oh yeah, I'm back here again. Well, I'm not done leveling. I don't feel like switching to Ben Lore yet. So, you want to take me back to Cursed Plain, Mr. Bandito? There goes more piety. Okay. Take me away. Um, let me think this through. There's a store right here. Hero's Helm. Might as well grab this too. And then... Boom. Holy crap. The exit's gone. Okay, th this just got real. Okay. Gotta be careful about this. I, I guess. That's what I'm trying to get at. And... You know, I haven't been using my Indus Wall as much as I should. Huh? We'll get we'll get there, okay? When I'm in the Cursed Plane, it doesn't matter, because I'll be cursed. I don't like you. I really, really don't. I also don't like you. I don't like any of these shades, actually. They're kind of shady to me. Yes, yes, Tarog, I heard you the first 50 times. We're looking for level 7s. Of which I'm not finding many of. <clears throat> you can hear my voice dying again, can't you? And I'm out of water, so nothing doing about that for now. Fraps counter, what are you hiding? Nothing. Okay. Well, I guess what I want to do... It really doesn't sound like a good idea to kill animated armors, by the way. It really doesn't. Maybe if I have that bear mace. 
yeah, then just send them to there and blah, blah, blah. But what I'm getting at is, uh, I'm going to have to hit him, eat darkness, hit him, eat darkness, hit him, eat darkness. Let's just not do that. That sounds like a good idea to me. Um, what we will do is, although it sounds like it'd be great to end this wall on this guy, I'd rather just use all my MP for help map. Oh, good. He didn't go in the darkness. There went a curse. Uh, and where was I going with this? I do want to kill the lower level ones, though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You must be so proud. Because the lower level ones kind of make sense. They'll also give me the most piety. And... I'm thinking about what else to say here. Maybe... Maybe I'll stay in the cursed plane just a bit longer. Just a little longer, please. I know I should really use this for a level up catapult or whatever you want to call it, but... Whatever. I'd really like to kill this guy. But he's going to kill me first. So... Let's destroy a little bit of piety. It'll be worth it in the end. And then we'll kill this guy just so we can go home. Maybe switch to bin lore. Yeah. Yeah. I would really love that bear mace about now, by the way. And... Yeah, I could be using darkness instead. I heard you the first time. Actually, I didn't hear you because... Well, I don't really need to explain that. So, there. Okay, anything I want to use my MP on or whatever? No? Okay. Boom. Oh, I'm still cursed. Oh, because I leveled. <sighs> I feel kind of dumb sometimes. But, you know, it is what it is. Should I take this guy on while I'm at it? If only I could make him do much, much less damage. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And let's win. Alright, I'm back here. With 86 piety. Sounds like it's the perfect time to switch to bin lore. I'm level 8. I should only lose 20 piety at most to leveling. Alright. And we don't want to use his stone heart or anything yet. Ooh. This one looks pretty cool. But the only thing we want to use is actually Stoneheart. Everything else is susceptible to curse. So we won't even do that. No, we will not. Okay, what's in the shop? Pendant of mana. Ah, Burned as. That's where you were hiding. You little jerk. I can only shrink one more thing. It's going to be the skull pickle picker. Because as soon as I convert that, um, I think this guy will hate me. Or is that only when I'm following him? Huh. You know, that's something I don't know. Oh well. I already made it small, so... And five base damage is nothing to scoff at, so I'm not even going to scoff at it, guys. Stop scoffing. We're level eight. We have the oyster in our world. Something, something, something. I'm not, I don't know where I was going with this. And we can use all the help mail we want. So what we'll do... Is we'll kill this bandit, and I think he'll take us to that magical far away land of the cursed plain. That's entirely what he did. We want to stay here a bit longer. And I don't really trust myself not to remember to kill some plants, so I killed two. That's why. That's why I did that. Should I take off his overhealth? It's only 12 HP, guys. Let's, let's not. We'll say we did, but let's not. Okay. So, I have two helmets and a lot of HP. Let's... Wait, how much does uh, Rock Heart, Stone Heart cost? Okay. I can totally see myself using that like four times. Doom, Doom, and Doom. I only used it three because... Well, I don't know. It... <laughs> it looks so funny without the walls there, though. Um, because I don't want to run out of piety, but... All the same, you know, couldn't hurt to go again. Wait. Endus wall makes him happy, right? How happy does it make him? Well, let's destroy this. Five. Okay. Okay. Uh, codex break. Do 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 What do you hate? Oh, right. He hates it when I level up, and he hates something else. He likes it when I destroy walls. 
and he likes it when I do something else. I don't know what that something else is. Let's uh, let's break something else down, and then fill up on HP or MP rather, right here. Oh, high thrall. Be kind of careful though. Now, if I fought him with Hopma, uh, his his uh, his high attack is what's getting me now. Well, maybe, maybe something, something. I wish I had biceps now, guys. I really do. At least I have a lot of potions to go around. So that's going to help. Let's eat the darkness. Oh, hey, the darkness was saved if it's behind a wall. Let's, uh, let's try fighting him with Helpma. Boom. Oh, crap. He might go in the darkness. Boom. Oh, God, he didn't go in the darkness. Heal, heal. Gives us another hit. Boom. We're gonna have to drink a potion or something, guys. There's there's no way around that. Maybe I should use my reflex potion. Or No, not even my whoop ass. I I don't regret not using that. Try saying that five times fast. Um I'm thinking. I really am thinking. Maybe what I'll do is I'll try it said I can use this on a wall, right? It gave me five piety. How much gold did it give me? Who was paying attention? Let's try it again. Oh, here we go. It said chalice. Eleven gold. Yeah, baby. Okay. I really wanted to try it out on a pen of health, but a wall is just so cheap, guys. And Ben Lore likes it. And also, I don't want to spend any more piety on Stoneheart because this guy's dead, pretty much. Right? Okay, let's uh, let's finish him off with the. I'm trying to think of what I, what would be best to use. Can't really think of anything that would be best to use, and that's not good enough. Wait, it's going to heal twenty. I can't really tell how much damage I'm doing to him. If I could just get one square, and there it is. Did that do it? That did it. Boom. All right. What is that? Dragon soul, free cast chance, uh, 15%. What? The soul of a dragon, solidified. Worn around the neck gives a 15% chance to cast glyphs with for no mana cost. RNG, here we are. Oh, and it uncursed me. No, I'm still cursed. It brought me back. I guess if I recycle it, I could go back and, you know what, let's not even entertain such um, silly ideas. I left some darkness down here for a rainy day, so go ahead and open the oven and eat some if you feel like it. Uh, what would I take? The bear mace? It does feel tempting. It would do 10 extra damage if I line him up with a, another enemy or a wall. But guess what? He's nowhere near another enemy or a wall because I got rid of... Wait, what? Great going, Captain. Great going. Um, Benlor, anything else you can do to help me here? Magic attack. Magic attack? Magic attack. Hmm. You have to think this one through, because I just don't know what else to do. How much does all this stuff cost? Stone soup. I don't need that. Uh, stone skin. That is pretty good. What's the most magic resist per piety spent? Both of these are five piety per resist. This one is just three piety per resist. But it destroys a ton of walls. And this one's a piety per resist. Okay, well, I'm not getting that anyway because I I can't afford it. That's why. Okay. Stone form. Grant you the might ability every time another wall gets destroyed. I'm feeling like going with this. Just so we can see what it's like. Sounds good to me. Okay. So... Now what? You hit pretty dang hard. Oh, because I'm cursed. This 14% magic resist will save me. Uh, no, it won't yet. Not just yet. I need to kill somebody. Somebody who would level me up. And I don't know who that is. It might be... I don't want to get mana burnt. That's another really good point. In fact, if I can kill this guy, and I totally can, let's heal up. 
Okay, so as long as I spend... I can spend all my MP away and still beat this guy. Good. Um, do I want to break a wall? I kind of... Oh, he retaliates fireball. Got to remember that part. Oh, boy, do I need to remember that part. Um, let me think this out a bit. Sorry. Stone sigil. None of these store items are wowing me, guys. I'm, I'm not blaming it on you. I'm just saying it's not really wowing me. Maybe I'll get rid of Jahora. I don't know. I guess what I'll do is I'll spend it on this for... Why did that sound like I drank a potion? I don't I don't even know. Um we're gonna way overkill this guy. I'd rather spend my might hit on this guy, but whatever. Um wait, what? Did I Did I somehow drink a health potion by accident? No. What did I do? I got my MP back. How did that happen? Uh, let me let me just try this again. E What? Oh, it's the dragon soul. It worked twice in a row. A 1 in 49 chance of 15% can be approximated to 1 in 7. Holy moly. Okay, well, I'm not complaining, but, you know, all things considered, um, it feels kind of worthless to waste it on somebody who, you know, magic attacks. Oh, well, what you gonna do? Um, let's just keep going with this. There we go. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Dragon Soul. That was very kind of you. Yeah, I lost some piety for leveling up. You're welcome. Uh, I don't know if I want the Burn Dress. I think if I can get Uncursed, I'd really like the this thing. Oh, let me see. The Badge of Honor might be, like, my clutch item. To use just for thing of a job. Let's get the plate mail. And let's get uncursed. Yeah, first strike. Yeah, first strike. Good. No, no, it says I'm still gonna mana burned. How is he first striking me? How is he man or how is he mana burning me, rather? How is this happening? Um I'm gonna have to burn them to death or something. Um, what can I get rid of? What can I get rid of? I don't really need Indiswall anymore, so... Oh, 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 um, wizard.exe, where are ya? Wizard.exe... Uh, hey, how's it going? Uh, help men, no. Indiswall? Yes. Yeah! Well, not so much yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of happy about that to be honest free physical resists oh oh it's not free it uh, takes up a space and it's worth one conversion point I really would have rather turned that into extra max health I mean not you know it's not gonna make or break the game but still uh, live and learn, huh? Well, okay then. Um, it's not worthless, but you know I'm really going to be on my final run here against this guy. Period. End of sentence. So I think I won't even really keep it. I feel feel bad about that. I do. I do feel bad bad about that. I think what I'll do is I'll turn all these things. Actually, I might just keep the shield. But I'm, I'm going to turn this into that. And turn this into that. Yay, for more extra, you know, health. And now I have minus 20 damage taken. Which means I can safely burn him a whole bunch. Well, not safely, but close enough. And I threw away the bear mace, didn't I? So I could... Uh, whatever. Everything's good. I'm fine with this believe it or not first though we're gonna have to oh right let's make some room 
Uh, I gotta get rid of two small items. Or something. Uh. Uh. What am I getting rid of? Bounce dagger I don't need anymore. Bajoom. And, wait. What? Said something about him making conversion stronger? Or was that somebody else? I think it was somebody else. Dare I turn 10 health into 10 health? I dare not. Let's recycle something else that's not as worth it. Oi. I definitely want to hold on to this. I don't want everyone to go back there again. Back to the Shadow Realm. I guess the shield. It just doesn't make as much sense as anything else I have. So now we can hold the Burner as. Good. Let's uh, burn this guy and not get mana burned. Good. And then burn this guy and not get mana burned. Good. No more curse. No more ouch. Um, I left no darkness anywhere, did I? Not there. Not in the wizard.exe room. If I had let me see, oh, the things I could see. Don't get mana burned by you either. So, I guess what we're going to do is we're going to use our mana potions. Yeah, on that guy. How much do you... Four. This actually isn't going to help all that much. And I need to... I need to give him a swift kick to the whoop as first. So let's do that before I forget. Yeah, it did a bit of extra damage. Good. Now let's drink and let's see how much he does to me. I'm not burning him that much. And he's not hurting me that much. All the same, I think I'll spend all my mana on help me. Yes, Captain is learning. Um, Reflex Potion, just because I wanted to. How come he's not cursing me anymore? Oh wait, I think the cat says he'll stop cursing you once you get this thing? Whatever, I'm fine with whatever. Um, just because I like peeing off Tarog. Haha, <laughs> and I got a free help my casting to go along with it. And again, let's do it again. Aw, oh, didn't work that time. Oh well. Uh, finally beat this place. Maybe now it'll stop PQIing. Perpetual Questing Initiative. It's a extra quest you can do for extra money. You know, I take this out with me. It's worth nothing. I take an item out with me. I get half its value in money. So let's do that. 13, 13, 8. Actually, I think that's discounting. So... Let's just take this mage plate. Boom. Hooray for mage plates. Okay, um we done here? I think we're done here. Uh let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna pee off Jehora against better intuition. Just to see what happens when he rewards me. Yep. You gambled and you lost. Okay, that's great. Okay, see you later. Pachoom. Alright. First Beating of Cursed Oasis. I am happy about this. Uh, I guess I guess everything worked out in the end anyway. I just got to do that with uh, Crusader and um, the other one. I can't remember, okay? Be nice. Be extra nice. What, what was it? Um, Crusader and Transmitter. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Well, that will have to do it for today. This has been Captain Thief playing desktop dungeons oh that is so tempting to take but I don't know what I'd replace it with nah I'm not that sinful and I will see you guys in the next one